Welcome to this presentation. Here I will be showing the use of LPC Script to program the firmware of the LPC Link2 debug probe. But before we get going, a quick word for users of LPC Expresso IDE. LPC Expresso IDE does not require a pre programmed LPC Link2 debug probe. Instead, firmware is automatically soft loaded when a debug operation is first performed. This ensures that LPC Expresso IDE always uses the latest compatible firmware version and removes the need to use pre-programmed debug probes. However, if an LPC Link2 debug probe is to be used with another toolchain, or if there is a need to use LPC Expresso IDE with Sega's JLink firmware, then any new debug probe must first be programmed. LPC Script is the recommended tool to program LPC Link2 debug probe firmware. It ships with the latest versions of CMSYSDAP and JLink firmware for the standalone LPC Link2 debug probe and for the versions built into the LPC Expresso V2 and V3 boards. Using smart scripts, the debug probe type is automatically recognized and the appropriate firmware is programmed. For LPC Script to program the firmware, First, the probe must be configured to boot from USB. This may be the default setting, but otherwise, change the link as required and then power cycle the probe. Now, let's take a look at firmware programming in action. On this PC, first I need to locate and install a copy of LPC Script. A quick search locates the LPC Script web page. This page shows lots of useful information including latest news, links to the manuals, and full product downloads for each supported platform. Once the download has completed, the product installation can begin. Before programming a probe, I will open Windows Devices and Printers. This lets us look at the devices actually connected to the PC over USB, and allows us to see the LPC USB device change through the programming stages. For convenience, the Windows installation of LPC Script will install a number of useful links directly in its start menu entry, including a link to program the debug probe firmware. In this example, I will program CMSYS DAP firmware onto an LPC V3 evaluation board. Once launched, the script prompts for a connection to a debug probe. Initially, you can see that this probe has been recognized by Windows as an LPC device. Next, LPC script is run and the correct version of the firmware is programmed into Flash. On-screen instructions explain the various links that might need changing on the probe itself. Now the programming operation has completed, I can make the link as prompted and repower the board. You can see the new firmware has booted and the CMSYSDAP probe is recognized by Windows. At this point, you could just quit the script or choose to program another probe. Now, a note about drivers. You may need to install additional Windows drivers in order to make use of your debug probe. For CMSYSDAP, the Windows driver package if not already installed, for example by LPC Expresso IDE, can be found in the drivers subdirectory of LPC Script. For JLink, please check Sega's website for more information. If you are a Mac or Linux user, LPC Script can be used in just the same way. First, launch a terminal application and then locate the LPC Script installation. Useful scripts are located in a subdirectory called Scripts. To program CMSYS DAP, launch the Program CMSYS Script. The script will program the probe firmware in exactly the same way as we have seen in Windows. Once complete, I can make the link as prompted, power cycle the probe, and it will then be ready for use. For further information on LPC Script, please visit the LPC Script webpage. Information on our range of development boards can be found on the LPC Expresso boards page. And finally, 
Various utilities are described and can be downloaded from the LPC Utilities page. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation.